Hey, how's it going? My name is Matthew. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and you haven't seen any of my other videos, most of my videos contain different pop culture references, um, doing ranking videos of different music. I've done many Lana Del Rey videos, so if that interests you, then you can go check those out on my channel. Yeah, I'm just a lover of pop music, pop culture. And so aside from Lana Del Rey, another favorite pop culture figure of mine is Miss Taylor Swift. Now, I've been a Taylor Swift fan since Fearless, and I became like an actual stan um, probably in the Speak Now era. Back to December, for sure, kind of solidified my uh, my standing. I'm still so upset that I was not able to go to the Speak Now tour, but I digress. So in my last video, I did a ranking of every Lana Del Rey music video. And so today, we're going to be doing the same thing, but instead we're going to be ranking every single Taylor Swift music video from debut all the way to midnights. In this ranking, it is just my opinion. You have yours, which is amazing. Leave a comment below on what your favorite music videos are. And yeah, let's just have a discussion and talk about it. Be respectful, be kind to each other. And yeah, this is just supposed to be all good fun. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's get started. All right. So for, I was looking on this, the tier maker website and I was looking for one that was already made because I figured there's other, you know, crazy Taylor Swift fans out there that I'm sure had already made one. And so I found a couple, not all of them had been nights music videos included in the, um, in the options, but this one did. And it was also in Spanish. Now I don't know much Spanish. Okay. My Spanish is from Rosalia, Bad Bunny and Elite. That's, that's the, the extent of my Spanish language knowledge. So I translated these, but I just thought it'd be so fun because everything is more fun in Spanish. So yeah, in our top tier, we have Obra Maestra, which means masterpiece. That's the top of the top, the best of the best. And there's very few, there's very few that I'm going to be putting up there because I want to be very selective with my choices. I don't want, you know, everything to go in Obra Maestra. It's just not going to happen. All right. The next... We have, yes, me encanta, which means, yes, I love it. So it's second best. It's second best. They're great music videos, but just not top of the top. And not everything's going to be, you know, a masterpiece. So that's okay. Then in the middle tier, we have, bueno, no está mal, which means good. You know, it's not bad. It's good. So very middle ground, uh, very middle tier. Nothing much to say about that. Then right underneath, we have Han Faltado, Biete, Inga, Inganas. Oh, God. And anyone that is, um, you know, fluent in Spanish, I apologize. Let me try that again. Han Faltado, Biete, Ganas. I think that was better. Which means, now this is what it translated to. Tickets and desires have been missing. Now, I feel like this is one of those expressions that doesn't translate well in English. And I know, you know, in the Italian language, we have a lot of sayings that don't translate well in English, and that's okay. I feel like this is one of them. But regardless, I know that it's second to last. So what it, what I think it just means is that, you know, uh, desires have not been met. And that's what I'm going to go as. However, I love <laughs> tickets and desires have been missing, you know? It didn't, it didn't reach the full potential. That's just the way it is. And then finally, we have mira. Para esto no hagas nada. Which is, look, don't do anything for this. Again, another saying that doesn't really translate uh, fluently into the English language. But I just think it means like, look, it didn't, it didn't really do much. It's kind of just there. It didn't really add anything to the Taylor Swift, you know, cinematic universe. And that's okay. There's, there's, there's a few of those that I can think of. So those are our categories and this should be, this should be fun. So first we are going to start with 22, 22. Mm, it's a good video. I'm going to put it in. Yes, me encanta. I love it. I love the video. It's so fun. It's so symbolic of the red era. And I think of all the music videos, I have to think of all the videos that are in the red era. I think, yeah, I think of all the videos in the Red Era, this one encapsulates the vibe, the imagery um, of that album the best. I mean, the, the red sunglasses, the red lips, the hat, the t-shirt, not a lot going on at the moment. Those are all iconic imagery that is so prevalent. Even today, when you know you see people dressing up for the Eras tour, and a lot of people are wearing this, she includes this outfit in her costume for that set list. So it just makes sense. I, I, I love the video. I have great memories with it. And I think it's just a fun... Fun, well-shot video. Now this one's hard. This is back to December. I I think, yes, back to December. Okay. 
Back to December is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Like I mentioned before, it is the one that kind of got me into becoming a stan of her music. I think it's one of her best songs. It's one of my favorite songs. I have such a personal connection to it. However, the music video itself, I don't really, I don't go back to a lot. However, I do like the idea of it. It's very cinematic with the snow falling inside the house. I do like that. And it's a, it was a very different video for her at the time. It was, it was you know, when she, she had the bangs, before she had the bangs. I'm going to put it in Bueno No Está Mal. I'm going to put it in there because it's it's good. It's not bad. It's a good video, but it just doesn't really, I don't think, add anything extra to the song itself. Yeah, I'm good with that. Bad Blood. Oh, God. Um... I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love the song and I don't love the video. And here's why. The video, I feel like, was just an excuse for her to look good. I it, Again, it didn't add much to the song. It just didn't. I mean, the song, there's not really much to add. It's very straightforward. But it was just a high budget music video. And I never, I literally never watched this music video. I just don't. So for that, I'm going to put it in Tickets and Desires Have Been Missing. Because again, it's not a terrible music video. Like in theory, it's not a bad music video, but I just don't like it. Ah, oh, then we have Begin Again. I love this video. I love this song. It's one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. I, I It just, it's so well written. The video is shot so well. And it's just, it, it's like the perfect marriage, you know? The song is so poetic and the video is so poetic and it just comes together so well. I'm going to have to put this in Obra Maestra. I think it's a masterpiece. I really do. I think it's directed beautifully. I love the color scheme. I love the costumes. I love the... It's it's simple. The storyline is simple, but yet it's just so well executed. This one and 22, I think, are sort of the perfect music videos to describe the Red Album. And if anything, they're kind of the perfect songs too to describe the Red Album. Like... There's the the softer, more um, muted side to it. Uh, muted is not the right word. There's a softer, more poetic. I'll say poetic, even though it's not really the word I'm trying to think of. But there's a more poetic side to the album, which is you know a lot of the the relationship songs, and then there's the fun songs like 22, and I think those two videos really do uh, represent the album very well. Next, we have Blank Space. Blank Space is a masterpiece. It is. It's just a fucking great video. It is, you know, the budget is clearly there, which usually isn't an issue for Taylor Swift. It's just sometimes it's not used well or to the best of, you know, its ability. This is a Joseph Kahn music video. It's a, their minds worked really well together on this one. And it just has so much iconic, um, fashion moments and it just it it works perfectly for the song again this is another one where the video and the song really is a great marriage together that's definitely a masterpiece it's one of her best when i think of her her top music videos usually blank space even though it's not a personal favorite song of mine but the music video is definitely up there with one of her best and one of my favorites of hers cardigan i don't watch this video that much however i think that it was between Cardigan and Willow, I think Cardigan is the stronger music video. I mean, everyone talks about the the piano scene of her, you know, latching onto it for dear life, you know, drowning in this massive, you know, oh, endless ocean. It, it's it's beautiful, but it's just not a video that I go back to quite often. So for that reason, I'm going to put it, I think, in the same category as Back to December. I think it's it's kind of middle ground for me. Change. Um, to be honest, I never watched this music video. I think I've seen it once or twice. I don't go back to it much. So I'm going to put it in Mira para esto, non hagas nada. It didn't do anything, you know? It didn't do anything. All right, next up we have Christmas Tree Farm. Again, another one. I don't listen to this song. I will, I love Christmas music. I love Christmas music. However, this is not one that I have on my shuffle. It's not one that I put on. I love I love a good Bing Crosby Christmas album. I love Kelly Clarkson's Christmas album. Taylor Swift's Christmas music, I don't return to quite often. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in, I guess the same one as Change. I just don't, I just don't watch it. Delicate, I don't like the video. I love the song. 
I love the song a lot. Like Reputation, I, I really love the Reputation album. And then Delicate, I think is one of the better songs from Reputation. I just don't like this video. I think there was so much more they should have done with the video. I don't like the dancing. I'm gonna put it in the same as Bad Blood. Mm, but is it? But Bad Blood, I think music video is better. Are the tickets not giving or is it just don't do any didn't do anything? What was the translation? I'm <laughs> tickets and desires have been missing. Are the tickets and desires missing for this one or did it just look didn't do anything? The tickets and desires are missing because delicate could have been such a good video. It could have been such a good video. And then this is what she gave and it just wasn't what I wanted. So the tickets and desires were definitely missed on this opportunity. Okay. Next, Endgame. I like the Endgame music video. I think it's fun. I think she looks great. Look, the song doesn't really need, it didn't need a music video. However, if you're gonna do a music video, this is the way you're gonna do it because the song is just kind of I don't know, about the reputation and just about, you know, being bad. And that's what the video is. So I'm gonna put the video in Bueno No Esta Mal. It's good, it's middle ground, it's there. Everything has changed. Um, I think I've seen this video once. I've seen this video once and I don't plan on watching it a second time. Fearless. Fearless, great song. Uh, the music video is a concert video. Yeah, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Mira para esto, no hagas nada. It did nothing. It did nothing for the song and the song should have gotten better. Oh, dear Lord, next is 15. <laughs> just a bad video guys just a bad video i don't know what was happening where was the budget you know what the budget went to love story that's where the budget went to the budget went to love story and you belong with me they had nothing left for fearless and 15 because that video that green screen that cgi was so bad and the song is so good but like i just don't get it I don't understand. Yeah, it has to go in the last, it has to go in the last category because I just don't, it's just, it's it's her worst music video. Next is I Don't Wanna Live Forever. Great video, actually. Mm, was it a great video or did she just look great in it? These are the questions. Um, I'm gonna put it in Yes Me Encanta right now. Right now I'm putting it in Yes I Love It. It might change, but for right now it's going second to top all right i knew you were trouble another video i just don't go back to i don't i love the song but the video it's very lana del rey ride very much like and i believe it's the same director too but it's like carbon copy of ride with the monologue with the in the desert and like i appreciate it i appreciate the artistic um you know choices that she was making and like trying to think of like push boundaries within her previous music videos and everything and i and i think it's it was definitely a risk that she took and i appreciate the risk however i personally like her live performance of the song better so like on the brit awards on the american music awards i prefer watching that over the music video so for that reason, I'm gonna put it in Bueno No Esta Mal. It's good. It's very middle ground for me. I don't think it's a bad video, but I just don't, I I, I prefer the live um, performances of it. I think they're more entertaining. I think it kind of fits the mood of the song more. So yeah. All right, next is, what is that? I'm only me when I'm with you. I believe this was a tour video, like a backstage type of thing. If I, if memory, serves me right to say i've seen this video i think maybe once so for that reason mira para esto no hagas nada now here we are at the top of the top look what you made me do i mean this video is above masterpiece this is like her this is her best music video well yeah i think this is her best music video what this video does so well is that the song itself when it first came out i didn't like it this video made me love the song. Like after I watched this video, I remember when it premiered on MTV during the VMAs, 
I was recording the VMAs and I was watching it just for that because there was like all this hype around it, right? Around her like premiering her new music video, all this stuff. Prior to that, the song had come out and I didn't like the song. I was like, oh no, what is she doing? Then when I saw the video, I was like, oh, this is fucking amazing. This is amazing. This is an artist. And for that reason, it is going in obra maestra and it is going right at the top as it should, as it should. Next, we have Love Story, another one, Masterpiece lover um i like the song a lot i don't like the video so for that reason i'm putting it with bad blood and delicate the tickets were not desired this time around the tickets were not desired i did not pay for that video you know i didn't i didn't go to the fair and give my six tickets to ride that ride you know what i'm saying yeah next we have mean mean is bueno no esta mal it's a middle ground it's good it's not bad. Um, it serves the song, but it's not one that I return to a lot, you know? Me. Hoo hoo hoo. Bye bye bye. <laughs> no, no, no. Mine. Ah, uh, um. I gotta put it in Obra Maestra. I have to. I have to. The 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 shot alone of her with the photographs hanging in the forest is just it's just such a great visual and it's just such a great song and such a great video and they it's a perfect marriage of the two again i keep talking about this these perfect marriages of the song and the video but like so often that's a hard thing to do and so when it happens it's just like ah it's so satisfying as a fan it is so satisfying especially for someone that loves visuals and i really appreciate when time and effort is put into a good music video when it works it works and it makes me so happy so yeah, mine is going into Masterpiece. New Romantic, I'm gonna be honest, any tour video, I'm just gonna put in the bottom because um, it just feels lazy and uh, kind of like a, like they're trying to just extend the era past what it should be extended to, you know? Our song, our song is slam screen doors. I'm not keeping that in, that was so bad. Um, masterpiece, baby, just, Again, the iconic imagery that has, you know, lasted throughout her career because of this video is just like, like that, that there's, there's so many shots. Like the one they have here of her and the flowers is iconic. The one of her on the telephone with her straight hair and like the blue tank top, that's iconic. The one of her in the blue dress in front of the stairs, that's iconic. Like it's just, it, it just, it, it just brings such fond memories, you know? And so for that reason, it's a fucking masterpiece, man. Hours, um, I don't watch that video. I don't watch it. So it is going in the bottom. Out of the Woods is an interesting one because the video itself is really well done and it serves the song. However, cause I'm trying, I just, here's the thing with music videos. If I don't like a video, I often try to think, okay, what would I have done? Like if I was in charge of directing it or storyboarding it, how would I have done it differently? I don't know how I would have done Out of the Woods differently because I feel like it was a very sort of taking this, you know, metaphor and making it very literal, which is an interesting way to approach, you know, a visual for a song. But so I don't know how I would have done it differently. I just think maybe it's just not my cup of tea, you know, like it's just not for me. I'm going to put it in the tickets are not desired only because like these videos in this category i don't think are necessarily really bad they're just not ones that i like whereas at the bottom that's ones that either i don't watch or i really don't like so yeah i think that's where i'll put it picture to burn i like i actually like the video of picture to burn so i'm gonna put in yes me encanta because i do i <laughs> i uh i like the video i like the song it's fun um the dialogue is interesting to say the least but yeah i'm gonna put it in there another one ready for it i'm gonna put this in I kind of like the video, but it doesn't really make sense with the song. I'm trying to think of what else they could have done differently for that song. I think maybe what they could have done could have been something. Oh, you know what would have been really cool? If they had like, oh, maybe if she was like on the run. So kind of like with like in a way, kind of like getaway car, but it's like she's a fugitive and like she's on a train and all these people are reading newspapers of her kind of like the album cover where like her face is on the newspaper and so it's like all these different headlines of her and it's these black and white newspapers that people are reading and then she's like trying to hide from them and so she's there's like shots of her on the run and people are chasing after her and like everyone and it's like missing person taylor swift missing person taylor swift 
and then she's trying not to get caught. Ooh, that's a, this is all coming to me on the spot. I've never thought of this before, but I think maybe I would have done that. So you know what? I have an idea for it that I like more than the video. So I'm gonna put this in. Um, the tickets were not desired because I love I love Ready for It the song. I just don't the video. I think is like cool, but it doesn't really fit the song in my opinion. Red, another tour video. I am so upset that we never got a Red DVD. I mean, I know why. Because the whole controversy with, I believe it was Terry Richardson who filmed it and directed it. And I know there was all this controversy around him, so I get it. But uh, that was another tour that I wasn't able to go to. I couldn't get tickets for. And like, I would kill to see an HD version of that tour. All right, next we have Safe and Sound. I really love this song and i love the video i wouldn't put it in masterpiece just because i don't really when i think of Taylor Swift videos i don't this one isn't one of the first ones to come to mind however i do like it a lot so yes me encanta i do i do with safe and sound yeah shake it off players gonna play haters gonna hate and people might hate me for this but masterpiece i love this video i love the looks i think it was such a cultural moment people you know People like to use the word iconic and like cultural reset and like all this stuff. They, they like to throw the word around, right? But like certain times with Taylor Swift, it really is, it really was a cultural moment. Like it, it just was. And you had to be there to fully experience it. And and just the it the, the looks, everything, I think it's just iconic masterpiece. I think it's great. All right, now we have, I believe this is the final tour. Oh, no, there's another one. I was gonna say, this is the last one. No, there's, there's another tour video. Sparks Fly. This should have had a proper music video. This is one of my favorite, honestly, one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. And it's one of my favorite songs off of Speak Now. And it deserved a music video. Of all the ones that got, um, actually, all the ones that got tour videos, I think should have had a music video. Now that I'm looking, like Fearless, New Romantics, Red, Sparks Fly, the last time I think was fine without a video. Although I love the song, but I don't think it needed a video. All of the ones that got tour videos, the disrespect. They should have all had music videos. They should have. So for that, I'm going to have to put it in the bottom tier with all the other tour videos. But just know that she fumbled the bag. Every single one of these tour videos, minus the last time, should have had a music video. Should have been big budget and it would have done so well. Style. Huh. I love, love, love style. It is one of my top 10 Taylor Swift songs, 1000%. The music video, I do love, like I believe the screenshot that they have here is from when she's in the white and the red lips. I do think that's a really beautiful um, image of her. Like I think it, it it kind of works for the song and I like that it. it's a bit more of like an art house music video. Like again, it was a new approach, a different take on the song and it's different artistic direction than she's ever done before. And it was a bit more grown up, a bit more mature. And I appreciate that. However, I feel like maybe if there was a bit more of a storyline weaved into this sort of artistic vision i think it would have upped the video even more so i'm gonna put it in a bueno no esta mal because i think it's it's a really beautiful video but i think they they definitely could have done more with it because honestly for a song like style the music video should be in masterpiece just like the song you know what i'm saying cheer up on my guitar i love this video and i love this song i think i'm gonna put it in i love it because I don't, yeah, I'm going to put it in I love it because I think the other music videos on top, I think are, you know, better produced uh, videos. However, that, I mean, that image of her holding the guitar, lying on the bed in her like turquoise gown with like the sparkly eye, eye makeup, like it's just, it's so quintessential Taylor Swift. And oftentimes when I still think of Taylor Swift, that's one of the images that pops in my head. So I do love the video, but I just think compared to the other ones, it's maybe not right at Masterpiece. Next, we have The Best Day, another video I don't watch. I think it's it fits the song, but it's just not one that I watch. The last time, tour video going at the bottom. The Man, if there was a category under that, that's where it would go. The Story of Us, um, love the song. Again, another highlight for me on Speak Now. The video, I think, is is okay. Bueno no está mal. I don't love it, but I think it's I don't think it's bad. It doesn't really do anything extra with the song, but I think it still kind of fits the vibe of the song. So, yeah, it's good. Tim McGraw. Bueno. 
bueno, a lot of bueno. <laughs> it works for the song it was her first music video like you can't really go too hard on it right so i think i think it was i think it really fits the mood of the song so yeah we're never getting back together another taylor swift song that i love the video i don't love so i'm going to put it in the i didn't buy the tickets for this show i did not want to give my six tickets to ride that ride at the fair i didn't unfortunately i got on um unbeknownst to me that this was the ride that i was going on um because you know the song is so great so i thought oh the ride must be great the ride was not so um <laughs> yeah so my tickets were not desired on that ride <laughs> white horse oh so <laughs> i just glitched i was like where am i gonna put white horse because i love the song the video i don't really watch but then again, what would you have done for the video? Unless you continue to do the whole fairy tale storyline. That could have been interesting if she did like a continuation to love story. Hmm. Hmm. That could have been a cool idea. Well, it's going at the bottom. Because I just don't watch it. I love, again, I love the song. I listen to that song a lot. I just don't love the video. So that's that. Wildest dreams. Some beautiful shots, some beautiful visuals. I think she looks incredible. I love the song. I think though, when I think of Taylor Swift music videos, this isn't one that comes to mind. Willow, kind of middle, mm, see it's middle to Cardigan. However, Cardigan, I like more than Willow, but do I want to move Cardigan into love it? Because do I love the video? No. So I think, you know what? They'll stay middle ground for me. I think that's where I'll, that's where I'll keep it. You belong with me. What a fucking video. What? Like, this is what solidified her as, you know, a fucking pop star. Like, this, this is, like, when I think of quintessential Taylor Swift, this is still one of the videos that I go back to the most because it's just so endearing. It's such an endearing song. And the, the video is just so relatable and it's just so fun. And it's, uh, it, again, another perfect marriage, man. Another perfect marriage. It's it's going, you know what, I'm putting it before, look what you made me do, yeah, because I just love it, it's just such a feel-good video and feel-good song, and it's still one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs, I don't care, I don't care if it's like a local song, uh, like, I, like, like I said, I'm a huge fan of hers, again, I have Midnight's up there, I have almost all of her records, which I know, okay, now it doesn't really mean much, but like I said, I've been there since Fearless, so like, I, I have such fond memories of this time and of Speak Now and Red, um, so it's just natural that I'm gonna, you know, go towards towards that time. You need to calm down. It's going beside me. Just the lover. The lover. Oh man, the lover era was just a mess. And like the thing is, is that if like if she cut it down to like an eleven track album, and like told a proper cohesive storyline like she did with Reputation, like it would be such a strong album. It really would. And I have a track list in mind of what I would of what I would have done. Not that she gives a fuck, but in my mind, I have like a track list that tells like such a clear storyline. Maybe that'll be a video. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that one day. We'll see. All too well, ten minute version, short film. It's a it's it's beautiful. I love it. I mean, I love the song. Hot take. I prefer the original version over the ten minute version. But we stand both. We stand both. And you know, if I want to drive in my car and just like cruise and just like, you know, the leaves are falling, 10 minute version is going on. I'm blaring the 10 minute version, you know? But if I just want to listen to the song and sing along to it, I'm most likely doing the original version just because that's the one that I grew up with. And I still have such a soft spot for that version. I bet you think about me. Well, you know what? I don't think about this song or this video. All right, now we're in Midnight's. Oh, they don't have Lavender Haze. That's fine, I'll just say where I would put Lavender Haze. Antihero, I I like the video. I like the song a lot. I like the video. I'm gonna put it in Yas Me Encanta. I love it. You know, it, it's a good video, but it's not like top of the top. Bejeweled, uh, didn't ask for it. I didn't, but didn't ask for that ride. 
my tickets were not desired on that ride. Um, I love the song, but I think the video was just unnecessary and it really does not fit the vibe of Midnight's or, you know, the imagery that she was trying to show with Antihero and with Lavender Haze. Like those are very like influenced by 70s, you know, style and and uh, fashion. And, and it just feels so out of place. And I think that if you're going to follow a more of a clear, concise visual concept, I prefer when the videos kind of go together. And I think if you're going to do if you're gonna do two videos that follow that that uh, imagery, then the third one should also follow that, you know? So then that leads to Lavender Haze, I think is a good video. I would put it maybe underneath the Antihero. With Midnight's and her music videos, what I would have done, again, not that anyone gives a fuck, but what I would have done is I would have released Antihero the night that she announced the album on the VMAs. Released Antihero, the song and the music video that night at midnight, okay? That was about like a month before, right? Then. The night that Midnight's drops, you release the Lavender Haze music video, okay? Then Bejeweled, um, I don't think needed a video. Oh yeah, and then Karma too. Karma, the bottom. I, I don't like that video. I think it's pointless. Yeah, the Bejeweled video and the Karma video, I just never would have done. Antihero and Lavender Haze, I think still kind of serve in the visual aspect of the concept of what she wanted to portray through like the artwork and all of that stuff. So I think those two videos are good. The other two I would put and my bottom tiers. So yeah, that is every Taylor Swift music video from debut all the way to midnight. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe, uh, like, and comment what your favorite videos are, what your least favorite videos are. And again, be nice, be respectful. You know, this is just fun. Uh, again, Taylor Swift is a multi-billionaire, so our opinions really don't matter, but it's just something fun to do. You know, as a fan, there's, there's room to have conversations, right? And just to debate, um, respectfully, right? So again, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos like this one. If you're a Lana Del Rey fan and you want to see my previous videos, I have other videos ranking all of her music videos, all of her songs, all of her albums. Uh, so those will all be linked down below. And also just if you click on my channel, you'll find them there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.